Iran's defense minister says the aggressive reaction and warmongering remarks by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu shows Iran's political success in the international arena. Brigadier General Hossein Dekhan dismissed Israel's threat of military action against Iran, arguing that Tel Aviv is too weak to make such a brazen move. He said the majority of American people favor dialogue with Iran rather than military action. According to the defense chief, Iran's stance on its nuclear program is perfectly legal and transparent, and it's not that hard to resolve the dispute with the West, regardless of political hue and cry. His remarks came amid a new poll in the United States, which shows that 75 percent of Americans favor direct diplomatic negotiations with Iran over its nuclear program. Let's bring in Dr. Mark Mason. He's an activist and commentator, and he joins us from San Francisco to get his thoughts on this. Well, Dr. Mason, uh, we, we had these diplomatic overtures at the UN General Assembly from both Iran and the U.S., and then you had the Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu coming into the mix before uh, the day at the UN General Assembly with that famous saber-rattling speech that he made. I wish the tone of uh, the U.S. president changed after he came. Uh, should we look at it that way, or is it uh, this flip-flopping that uh, discredits the U.S. presidents, uh, especially in front of Israel, uh, regarding, uh, of course, uh, the building of mutual trust? Uh, what, what is, uh, how do you see uh, the whole scenario regarding U.S., Israel, and Iran? We have uh, Israel and the United States making overt um, threats to attack uh, Iran. And uh, this is in violation of UN Charter, uh, Article 2, Section 4, expressly prohibits any state from threatening to attack uh, or use violence or force against any other state. This is a foundation of international relations. There's no way we can have any international cooperation, international problem solving without the removal of international bullies. Just take it, if we had a, a child on a schoolyard, uh, we wouldn't tolerate a child on a schoolyard going around to the other children saying, well, do as I say or I'll beat you up. Those individuals are called bullies. And yet, so the UN Charter expressly prohibits international bullying. And this needs to be brought forward that we cannot have a regional solution to regional conflicts without ending these endless threats, both from Israel and the United States, to attack Iran. If we want to look, however, at uh, Israel in terms of the, uh, the prime minister and the way and his approach towards Iran at the UN General Assembly, by many accounts, he actually isolated himself uh, because he had the, uh, basically the entire world. Uh, especially the members of the P5 plus one that uh, were entertaining this uh, uh, diplomacy and the diplomatic overtures. Is that the case? Has Israel isolated itself uh, through that uh, speech that the prime minister made? Israel and the United States has been uh, isolated for the past 20, 25 years. And you can look back in a series of uh, general assembly, uh, UN general assembly uh, votes on various uh, matters pertaining to the Middle East. And it is uh, routinely the U.S., Israel, and uh, one or two uh, Pacific Island states that uh, are against the entire planet that wants to bring uh, peaceful resolutions and justice to the Middle East. There is no small amount of hypocrisy that Israel would uh, try to make a uh, claim that, like, effectively, you know, Iran wants to take over the world when Israel has nuclear weapons. So. To vilify Iran will not resolve regional uh, tensions. We need to sit down as a region. All of the nuclear powers, particularly we have Pakistan and Iran, they are extremely dangerous, far, far, uh, provide far, far more uh, regional instability than Iran does. They're extremely dangerous countries with the instability in Pakistan. So all these countries need to be brought together, brought to the table, cut out and eliminate these endless threats from the U.S. and Israel about attacking anybody and hammer out a regional solution to remove nuclear weapons from all countries in the Middle East and Central Asia. Thank you very much for that. Uh, that's Dr. Mark Mason, activist and commentator, talking to us from San Francisco. Thank you.